All right, here we are with Bang Bang Lulu, WBC Interim World Champion. How are you feeling, mate? I feel good. I'm excited. Super oh. pumped to be here in New York. Yeah, we've got that title belt right there. For those who don't know, you're probably the best female women's boxer out of Australia, based here in America. Yeah. Tell us a bit about you. Um, yeah, I've been based out here in America for the last, I'd say, two years now. Um, I have two children back in Perth who travel back and forth and I've just been, I've probably been a little bit quiet but I've just been focusing and working hard over here. Uh, you know, I became the WBC Inter uh, World Champion last year and I'm here in New York and getting to defend it so I'm hyped. Big fight tomorrow night against Lorraine Villa Lopez. She's four and two, yep. known to be a heavy puncher. What's the game plan? Um, you know, it's just gonna box and um, use a lot of movement and get in on the inside if I have to. Whatever it takes, you know. Um, just have some fun out there with her and put on a good show. And it's always good to defend about about at the same weight. Like this fight's at the same weight. Yes. So there was no really during camp. It wasn't really too tricky. You've been here before. You fought at this weight a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's not too hard. Tell me a little about your progression from Australia, because obviously in Australia, was it you had a little bit of problem getting fights in Australia? Yeah. Or? Yeah. I mean, after I won the WBO uh, light flyweight world title, um, it was kind of tricky to get get the fights again uh, from that and. I did really want to come over here and set myself up to, you know, step up to that next level. So, uh, I mean, at my weight in Australia, there's not really much around. So I wanted to come out here and continue to progress. So I made the move out here. Um, and, you know, it's, it hasn't been easy. It's been challenging, obviously, being so far away from home and so far away yeah. from my children. It's, it can be emotional sometimes and hard work. But, you know, it's paying off and... I guess the work out here is a lot is a lot better. It's yeah. a lot better to grow as a fighter. Big fight tomorrow night for all the Australian and Irish fight fans. Dennis Hogan versus Jamal Charlo. WBC 160 belt on the line. Yeah, it's big for Australian boxing, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. Any any huge world title fights is huge for Australian boxing. It's great for Australian boxing because you know we need to build that um, build it up a little bit more because. Uh, there's a lot going on, so I think there's a lot of good fighters in Australia that uh, you know need to step up to the next level as well and and rise. So it's, it's great. Do you feel Dennis Hogan, and this is no disrespect to the other fighters, but he is the the biggest face coming out of Australia right now, fighting on the biggest stages? Yeah, I guess at the moment, you know, he's stepping up and and taking that risk to step out of Australia and fight. You know, internationally fight here in New York in the mecca of boxing. So of course he would be a big face in boxing right now. Yeah. Tell us a bit about your famous partner. I've got a lot of respect <laughs> for him. He's a champion, Elvis Grant. Elvis, yeah. Always he's... great having him. Obviously, you know, I know he's your partner, but mm -hmm. also very, very good having him in, inside the camp, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he trains me, manages me. He does an amazing job. Um, he's got knowledge from way beyond my years so you know he's very knowledgeable he's i'm his ninth world champion so he knows what he's doing and as a manager he's, he's phenomenal he's so good and um he's on top of everything and making sure that everything's organized i don't need to worry about stuff so it's such a blessing to be you know working with him as well and um it's great it's really good i have a good time with him we have fun and you know we get to enjoy boxing outside of being in yeah, training yeah, together and you know that talk never stops at home so it's like almost like I'm always learning something even if we're just watching boxing because you know he's been in his whole life. Big fight tomorrow here in New York time 2.30 but obviously in Saudi Arabia their time Joshua versus Ruiz 2. Yeah. Who's going to get it? Man, I always think with the heavyweights, it's always 50-50, no matter what, you know, it's heavyweight boxing. One punch can change it. One punch change it, well, look what happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I think, I mean, Ruiz is, is, I think, would be awkward because he's small, he's fast, he's powerful, you know, he's proven that. And I think if Joshua boxes on the outside, then, you know, he boxes smart. Of course, he can catch, catch it and not let him in, but if Ruiz gets in then it's probably going to be his fight again no worries all right well thanks for catching up with us and for those out there all those fans back in australia that follow fight hype 11 a.m back in australia eastern standard time on fox sports and you'll be able to catch bang bang lulu who's the, the first belt huh yes you're the first belt uh yeah uh will be the first 
for the streaming, yep. Yeah, fantastic. And on Showtime as well. So yeah, catch me on Fox in Australia. Um, all my Australian fans, please check it out, comment, yeah. be a part of it. I love you guys. I don't stop thinking about you guys. I'm here representing my country, Australia, and I want to do you all proud. So please check it out. How do we find you on Instagram and Facebook and that? Check me out. Bang, bang, Lulu. No worries. All right. Well, thanks for catching up with fighthype.com here in New York City. Thank you.